Carson is joining us now. Keith, pardon the kind of ignorant question, but I mean, we're not that far from Vermont. How mm -hmm. come Vermont got all this catastrophic flooding and Maine didn't see that level of damage? Yeah, and even most of New Hampshire did. And basically, yeah. it came down to the fact that the showers and storms were training and stalled over one axis. And so that's the problem. You can get heavy rain, but it's it's got to keep moving. And so it was just set up over Vermont. And by wow. the time it got to us, it moved more quickly, which we saw those showers and storms come through after, but they, they moved along. So they do have some storms out there right now, which will show you that you can see the edge of that severe thunderstorm watch box, which does encompass Vermont right now. Unfortunately, we've got just a couple sprinkles out there. Storms have tried to pop up in Maine, but they've been quickly suppressed. So there's uh, not a willingness, if you will, in the atmosphere to really produce those upward moving thunderstorms. And so that's something to think about when we watch this line, which is now moving into Vermont. Now look, this is not great, no question, where there still have uh, swollen rivers and streams to have these storms come through, put down a lot of lightning and downpours, but notice that they're moving. And that's the whole key here is these things are moving pretty fast, 45 miles an hour or so. So the question is going to be if they can hold together these, uh, this line of storms as it moves into Maine. I think mostly no. There is a chance over far western Maine that we could catch some of these thunderstorms between 9 and 10 o'clock tonight. But I think generally we're going to have a hard time keeping those going during the, uh, you know, after the sunset hours into the mid coast, for example, and central Maine. So just a chance for a sprinkle there. That front finds itself into down east Maine by tomorrow morning. And tomorrow is an interesting day because there's a lot of potential for heavy downpours in the atmosphere. There's going to be a front draped right around here. But potential and reality are two different things. And so the latest small scale models give us a decent day through a good part of the day into the early afternoon before some thunderstorms start to bubble up. And I'd say the best chance for heavy downpours will be in the afternoon, Wiscasset over to Concord and Portsmouth, kind of the southwest part of the state. They could see some thunderstorms there, but that front now moves a little bit offshore for Saturday and gives us a reasonable Saturday, which I have not said in a while. A mixture of sun and clouds. There is a chance for a shower, but it is it is much nicer than we've been seeing over the weekends. Sunday, we do go back to clouds and turn into some showers and rain Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and that's going to be some heavy rain for us. Worth watching because the models put down about an inch and a half of rain. And we are not immune to flooding. We just didn't happen to have any problems last time. I don't see this being anything like the, you know, the last event. They got, don't forget, you know, five, six inches of rain. Uh, oh, yeah, well, that one was also uh, several inches of rain. I think there's just something to watch because we're now, we're at the brim with the soil moisture and all that, yeah. so it's not going to take much. But you'll notice, guys, that we're just, we're slowly digging out of this pattern and this mm -hmm. hole. We're yeah. getting a little bit more nice weather as a ratio. Things have improved. <laughs> all for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we needed to do better than we over the last couple of weeks, for yeah. sure. All right, thanks, Keith.